So this is the night before our flight to Venice. So not prepared. I haven't packed, but we kind of have a rough idea. Do the touristy things and then go to Dolomites and then hike and get some amazing views. See you tomorrow morning. Update. So right now we're eating at Itsu, having our breakfast. Check-in, already finished. Daryl, well something went wrong with this check-in. <laughs> You just see the seat number. What seat zero, guys? Yeah. So what do you have to do, bro? Get on the next flight. And meet <laughs> you there. We have arrived at Venice Marco Polo Airport. First impression of Venice is it's pretty foggy or hazy. I don't know why. What does he say? I don't understand. What? So we are going to. Mestre, gonna find some food, lunch, and then check in hotel at three. So we met, hey, we met up with Johannan and Andrew. They arrived Hello. earlier than us. This is the hotel. There we go. You spin it to the left. How is it? Sorry. Is it, guys? Not bad. Whoa. Hello. Looks like, like heaven. Outside world, massive window though. Like, someone can actually jump from here. Oh. Now we are back in the hotel, 10.52, like ready to sleep already. An eventful day. Yeah, Daryl is at the back there, playing some uh, background music. Daryl is right there in the corner. Hello. Okay, basically, I got fined today because I forgot to tap in the bus ticket I bought. The conductor coincidentally checked and then he fined me 50 euros. I should have like, you know, told him that it was my first time. I literally just arrived like an hour ago. I just, I'm just not that guy. I bet I'm a little word. Show me your muka kesian, bro. See? <laughs> 3 p.m. like that, we had really amazing pasta. We had three different colors of Tagliatelle. I ordered the cheese, Daryl had the pesto, which was green, and then Amiral had the cuttlefish ink, which was black. Dessert was bussin, coffee ice cream and tiramisu. The, the picture will be here. The picture be will be right here. Yeah. I'll put it right here. And after that, we went to Venice, and then we just walked and walked. It was literally like a maze. There's like hundreds of alleyways and hundreds of bridges. All of us couldn't stop taking the same scenery. Walk to St. Mark's Square, and I'll put some pictures here. <laughs> but what I found interesting was that the alleyways are so narrow, you would see like 10 people just like walking this random alleyway. Yeah, it seems like just any other day for them. Tomorrow, we're gonna start the day early. Gondola is 80, 80 euros per person, probably not. Afternoon, we're gonna pick up our rental car and straight away head to Dolomites. Good night. Whoa. Hey, what's up? It's 8.13, we're gonna go down and uh, buy some breakfast from the grocery store and come back and then check out. What you got, bro? We went down because we're trying to help the family. Show me what you got. What do I get? What do you got? Johanna and Johanna. his pastries. Crustetin oh. al chocolate. Crustetin. We're going to a square right now, Santa Maria, and right here we have a church. What church is it, Johannan? <laughs> Saint <laughs> Johannan's. Santa Johannan. Chiesa de Saint Aponal. No idea where that would be. He's a church yeah. enthusiast. FYI, Johannan here is part of the church choir. So sing. 
Thank Crazy you, range. <laughs> Thank you, Father. This wine thing is a uh, fish in cream. So good. So salty and like shredded fishy. Fish. Shredded yeah. fish. It's really scrumptious. Try it. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you even tried it yet? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the car that we rented. It's a Jeep. It's a hybrid uh, car, automatic. I did the first drive just now. I was so super nervous. I think I drove on the pedestrian walk because some random guy was just staring at me. But here goes nothing. I'm just going to drive first out of uh, Mestre and then I'll probably drive later on near the mountains. We have the map set up. Gonna take about two hours to Casa Alpina, which is our accommodation in Dolomites. Autobots, roll out. <laughs> bismillah, bismillah, bismillah. Hello. Hands looking locked in at the moment. <laughs> Bro's mewing hard. <laughs> now, to be fair, you are the more experienced driver though. Why? Because Joho, wilder than Sarawak. Sarawak people are too nice. Bro, look at that. We're entering that cloud, bro. Cloud incoming. This is where like, the Bermuda Triangle starts, bro. <laughs> I like your remarks, Daryl. It is yeah. okay. Now this is what you call... Fuan Bang Bae. From your normal living. For me. Can I reach you? Can I pick that? Right? I like the... I like the bang... The bang. Yeah. This is the same Okay guys, we're driving to Lake Price today. We have <laughs> Nazmi as our driver. Hello. We're on the mountain right now guys. You can see the snow it's starting to pile up. This is our amazing driver. Tokyo drifting through the mountains. In the back there, the is it dizzy? Is it's it alright, we're surviving. My ass is kind of hot right now. It was always hot bro. So yesterday, we were driving in a very foggy environment. Today, it's a very snowy environment. See, you can't see anything. You mean the snow chain? Can also. Wait, do you guys know how to put it up? No. Yeah. We're in a bit of a pickle guys. <laughs> we are putting in our snow. Higher equipment. Okay. Okay, guys. Let me try uh, pushing. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, okay, okay. Okay? No. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just pack up. Okay, guys. More, more, more. Uh, if you come out and see, I think nearly there. La. A bit more, I think. But... Yeah, a bit more. Uh, go stand, go stand. Okay. Whoa. Okay, guys. This is us right after like, changing. We're putting on socks for the car. Mm -hmm. It was slipping like crazy oh. just now. Yeah, I, I like pressed full throttle and like the power was so slow. Yeah. It didn't move so up. So we just put on the snorts on the two front wheels with the help of Mr. Johannan and Daryl. And Nazmi. And Nazmi. <laughs> so we're on our way now to... Is the lake gonna be not frozen bro? It's gonna be frozen bro, definitely. It's gonna be frozen. Okay guys, right now we're having a toilet break. We are still like halfway to the lake. We had a near-death experience just now. I almost skidded us to death. <laughs> skidded on the ice even though we were on the snow uh, sleeves I had to go a bit slower lah. but everything is okay now the road is no ice anymore it's just wet and a bit muddy how are you feeling Andrew? pretty good I guess but you Miral? I'm exploring the car right now bro is like interested to buy this car <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we're finally here at Lake, Lake Braze. Lake. Braze, or in German, Prexer Waldsee. A lot of stops, a lot of bumps along the way, but we're but finally people here. People say it's not about the destination. It's about the journey, and now we're finally <laughs> and, here. And? And what? Uh, vomit. And vomit, bro. <laughs> After a lot of vomit, Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. <laughs> finally made it. The next time, note to self, wear proper <laughs> shoes. Bro's going we're to like primary struggling. school. Bro's going to high school. Yeah. Bro's going to the mall. Going to Dolomites with my butter. <laughs> White shoes. 
The lake is frozen all the way through. Oh, well, can't see the blue water. I guess. But at least it's, it's pure white. Right now we're in front of the lake, the frozen lake, and we're just taking in the view. I feel like I'm in Narnia right now. We're gonna try to walk around the lake. Hope we don't fall inside and get hypothermia. I got nothing to say. Oh. Except that I might fall. Fall for me? To my death. Okay, it'll be worth it for the gram. <laughs> I mean, we have to go down here anyway, right? Yeah. Lower bro, lower, lower. Go lower. Okay. Oh. Ah, it's like blue. Catch the drop, catch the drop, catch the drop. Are you recording? Ah, Why? Are you okay? Iceberg. Thanks, man. No problem. To Bro thinks he's in a music video. <laughs> Start running. Let's just circle around you. Okay. Let's <laughs> go. So right now we're like looking at the guy, seeing if it's safe to cross the river. We are crossing the lake right now. I'm right in the middle of of this huge lake, which in summer will be completely like greenish blue and like water. Andrew calling. I don't know how thick the ice is, but it looks pretty solid to me. There's a break. Bro, don't, don't step on it. Where does the lake start and end? Probably there. <laughs> All right, I want to get off. Oh my God, you see the crack, yeah. Holy. <sighs> That beautiful mountain. Right now we don't have any car in front of us, so we have no idea what's in front. This is like the least visibility here you can see. Hey, there's a car, let's go! So they accidentally served us pork and then we told them that we can't have it. So then they gave us some potato and tomato and cheese, I'm assuming. This is the dessert. Andrew, how's the dessert? Tastes like tofu pa. Exactly like tofu pa. <laughs> what are you guys playing? Chess or checkers? Uh, checkers. I think he's winning so far. How are you winning in checkers, bro? Isn't checkers a, a Chinese game? <laughs> yeah. Is it though? <laughs> I don't know. Just kidding, man. This is the fourth day of our trip. Woo! Today I'm in the passenger seat. In front we have Johannan. Driver is Amirul today. We are heading to Punta Roco to go up the cable car. And then that will be it. We'll go back and then have lunch and then check out and then fly back to Venice. This is some crazy views, bro. We're here at... Puntong Roko. Puntong Roko, let's go baby. Let's Where's go. your Puntong Roko bro? Make an O-ring. Mm. <sighs> Is this a white lane? <laughs> we are about 2,500 meters up in the air. The summit is about 3,000 meters. Wow, the snow is so soft. This looks like those movies, like the end of the world movies, where the world is like engulfed in okay, snow. Yeah. Global, Global warming is a hoax. Global warming is not real, guys. Look at this. <laughs> the world is so cold. Yeah, there's a bird somehow in these mountains. My eyes are kind of hurting. Everything is too bright. What is this? Sus looking place. The heck is this? Where is everyone? <laughs> this is legit like fall down and die, man. It's probably a 90 degree drop. Yeah. You can see the drop there. I guess this is a walk at, a, at your own risk kind of thing. Oh shit! That guy just like rolled over bro. Probably can't see in the camera, but those people are skiing down, man. Bro, look. Uh, snow waterfall. It's a snowfall. 
What if it's like an avalanche? Let's run, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Look there, bro. It's catching on us. Whoa! What the heck? It's getting in my eye. Someone told Daryl, you're a real hero. Because Why? you're wearing the That's Converse shoe up the mountain. Converse needs to sponsor <laughs> me. What a legend. Today. Yeah, bro. Can I get one? Put it in like ABC cup and then put syrup all over it, bro. The angel, bro. Yeah. Let's go inside the tunnel. We have left the car at the designated place. Goodbye, car. You have served us well in our trip. Right now, we are heading to our Airbnb. We are still in Mestre. This is our fourth day. Tomorrow is our final day. Johanan is leading the way and uh, everyone else is at the back. Okay guys, we're yeah. in our new accommodation. Casa uh, Luna. Casa Luna. Six. TLDR, six. 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 this aircom looks great, even though it's very high up. This is the kitchen slash uh, eating living room. I don't know. A laundry can finally do our smelly clothes. Got three rooms. Single bed, double bed, double bed. Time to rest and then go makan. This is what we bought for dinner. Seafood pizza. This is? Chicken carne. Hey, this is carne, carne kebab. Carne kebab, whoa. Carne is chicken. Ah, tata. It's like a funny way of eating it. <laughs> well, how do you eat that? I don't know. Let's go there real. Make sure guys don't forget anything. Meanwhile, Johannan is eager and ready <laughs> learning German. No, no, no. Are you learning German? Dutch. 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 Who will? This is a uh, global warming. Oh, okay. um, maybe it's just Daryl bro. Must have been because of me, sorry guys. <laughs> <It's> hot, <bro. laughs> Yeah. He's finding a, a dry soil. Camera shy. Yeah. <laughs> One time, there was a cat on the balcony, on the head level. So there was like petting him. And then suddenly the, the cat turns around, shows his ass to his face and squirts, bro. Piss. Piss. Probably. Yeah. That's my villain origin story. Daddy, not Second music video, bro. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I should buy, I should buy. So I don't know what leaning tower it is, but it is leaning. You can actually see from the camera, but I actually I measured using a barometer. <laughs> Barometer's pressure, bro. <laughs> like, I should have took my protractor. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah. say. Yeah. God, I'm glad. Look at that sky. Man. Look at the sun. <laughs> we just came up from the library and the sun just started coming up too. I'm so drying my shoulders. I'm so happy. My jacket is not waterproof. This is goodbye Venice, we are going back to London 